list of the parts you need can be found on the Flag Waiver Build Guide found on TeacherGeek.com under Documents. For this kit you will need a TeacherGeek Reamer and a TeacherGeek Multicutter. Components and free documents for this activity are available at TeacherGeek.com. The TeacherGeek construction system allows you to build almost any mechanism you can imagine using two simple tools. The dowels and connector strips can be easily cut to size using our TeacherGeek Multicutter. But don't use the multi-cutter to cut metal because you'll ruin the blade. Most of our teacher geek components come with holes that dowels just press into. Just twist the reamer back and forth to ream out a hole. Reaming out a hole will make it so it no longer holds a dowel. So don't ream out holes you want dowels to stay pressed into. Only ream out holes you want dowels to slide or rotate in. For your first step, you're going to need to cut four dowels to 75 millimeters, which is about three inches. Then go ahead and put the four dowels into the corner holes of your hole plate. The easiest way is to tap them in with a pair of easy cutters, but you could also push them in too. Then place your other hole plate on top, and you can either push or tap the hole plate into the dowels. Cut a dowel to 95 millimeters, which is about 3 and 3 quarters of an inch. Then go ahead and cut another dowel to 130 millimeters, which is about 4 and 3 quarters of an inch. Then go ahead and push or tap the 95 millimeter dowel into the bigger gear. Then go ahead and place the dowel that's 130 millimeters into the smaller gear. Then go ahead and place your gears with your dowels on through the holes marked above. Place the stock clip onto the back of the shorter dowel. Adding wax or some crayon onto the dowel will make getting the pulley on much easier. Push the pulley down on the dowel, but make sure the pulley isn't pinching the whole plates together because you still need that dowel to turn freely. Cut a dowel to 100 millimeters, which is about 4 inches. Then place that dowel into the larger pulley. You can either push or tap it in with a pair of easy cutters. Now place the dowel with the pulley on it into the hole marked in the picture above. Now place a stock clip onto the end of the dowel that you just pushed through your hole plates. Then go ahead and stretch a rubber band between your big and small pulley. Cut a small piece of dowel to 30 millimeters, which is about an inch and a quarter, and then place it into one of the end holes of a perpendicular block. Now place the other end of the perpendicular block onto the dowel with the pulley on it. This will act as your crank. Cut a dowel in half so that it's 150 millimeters, which is about 6 inches. Place that dowel through the hole marked in the picture above. Add stop clips to both sides of the dowel, but make sure the dowel can still spin freely. Cut two dowels to 30 millimeters, which is about an inch and an eighth, and then add small pieces of side stop onto the bottom. Push the dowels through the gear and the pulley. Don't push them through far enough that they touch the whole plate. Using the two full dowels you have left, slide perpendicular blocks onto the end of them. Go ahead and remount the rest of the holes in the perpendicular blocks attached to the dowels plus two more perpendicular blocks.
Then place the perpendicular blocks onto the dowels. Slide the center hole of the perpendicular blocks onto the dowels like shown above. Then go ahead and add some slide stop to secure them so they don't fall off. Then go ahead and do the same thing on the other side with your other dowel. And finally, add some signs to the top of your dowels. You can go ahead and make your own, or you can go and print a sign card off of our website.